So you're saying, though, where you thought perhaps the blue wave was coming, you're now seeing it the other way. Yeah, the, the Democrats are losing momentum in a, in a big way. And part of that is because they're infighting. Part of that is because they fully now embrace anti-Semitism. They now want the complete destruction of, of Israel, which is bizarre. You know, it's kind of funny. There's all these videos now that Alex is a Zionist shill and I'm a Zionist shill. And I'm, I'm like, guys, Linda Sarsar and the very people who hate me hate Israel. You know, so why, you know, maybe, maybe you ought to think about that a little bit. So the Democrats, um, Keith Ellison, for example, his replacement had tweeted out that she actually sided with, oh, the protesters, right? Those poor people, um, even though we know they're Hamas and they're Hezbollah and terrorism and everything. So the Democrat is now the party of MS-13. They're the party of Hamas. And they are the party, they're not saying anything about the pedophilia stuff. The Department of Justice, 2,300 arrests. Not one mainstream media outlet like the New York Times, Washington Post, CNN. The Department of Justice said we got 2,300 pedos multi-agency operation they issue a press release nobody in the mainstream media is covering that you know I, so i find that quite interesting but that's the democrat party now ms-13 hezbollah hamas and, and pedophiles and pedophilia so you, you can't win elections if that is what you're supporting and let's do that press release do justice i know you covered it we covered it but operation broken heart three-month operation um multi-level operation arrested over 2,300 pedos, got a bunch of the child porn off of the, the web, huge deal, and just like you said, no media coverage. I mean, total media blackout. I mean, that is shocking to me, and I'm not sure if that's an angle of they don't want to touch it because they're not, they're, they're not supposed to touch it, they're not allowed to touch it, or if they don't want to touch it because just genuinely they feel like this is so disgusting this is so you know a punch to the gut that they just don't even want to cover it because they're afraid it might hurt their ratings no no i mean we we all know why they're not covering it i mean you know you don't have to be you know they keep bringing you know think about the way they lied and tried to say that we were claiming something that we weren't claiming and they bring that up two years later I'm like, no, 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 I never even said anything like that, right? I was always talking about the pedos and all this big kind of stuff going on, the international human trafficking ring. They had so, you know, so they lied and pretended that we were talking about something we weren't talking about as a way to try to shut us down. And now when there is an actual real arrest, 2,300 pedos picked up, big, big press release and everything. The media's got nothing to say about that. So every time they bring my name up, they'll say Mike Sternrich, comma, who claimed blah, 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 basement, which I never said. That's a lie. And they don't bring up the real stuff. So think about that, right? We, we all know what's going on here. We're, we're intelligent people. We can figure it out. You know, they're, they're obviously protecting people that they have to, maybe they know or whatever, but that's their fault, man. Uh, the American people are watching and saying, why aren't you reporting on this, CNN? You know, why are you, why are you screaming at Corey Stewart, because he used to be friends with a guy who ended up, you know, becoming a nutcase. Well, that's fine. You know, go after Corey Stewart, you know, do your journalistic job. But why aren't you going after Keith Ellison and Louis Farrakhan and Barack Obama and the, the congresswoman um, who's running? She's going to replace Keith Ellison and how she um, supports Hamas and Hezbollah. And why aren't you covering the 2300? You know, the media, they're saying, oh, you know, Jake Taper, or fake Jake, I call him tweeted out blessed be the children he's quoting you know psalms because all these people who said if you believe in, in jesus you're a bitter clinger as barack obama said you're a bitter clinger and you're clinging to your bible because that's what christians are bitter clingers and now suddenly jim acosta is at the white house oh what about the bible the guy who works for playboy what what about the bible oh don't we care about children it's like wait a minute wait a minute if you care so much about children, why are you not talking about the 2,300 pedophiles who are arrested, right? You, you don't have to be a genius to figure out what's going on here. Yeah, Jake Tapeworm over there at CNN. And it's amazing where here in this country, you get a media blackout on Operation Broken Heart. But you look across the pond in Europe, not only do you get a media blackout, you're not even allowed to talk about it. 
You're not even allowed to tweet about it. And if you even think about doing that, we have you arrested and put in jail. And we're going to send you over to the prison camp where it's 70% Muslims that want to chop your genitals off and torture you. I mean, Cernovich, what is this is this is really an incredible feature that I think it's hard to really grasp. But again, you just have to think critically. Why would any government forget the Tommy Robinson case? Why would any government in any situation protect pedophiles and protect child sac child traffickers? I mean, it's a pretty simple answer. I mean, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to do the math on that formula. Yeah, here's the way I presented it many times, which is because my belief on a lot of issues differs from maybe traditional conservatives. I, you know, I, I think that as a white man, you know, maybe I have a limited, you know, I don't want people screaming at me. Maybe, you know, I'm, I'm willing to entertain the idea of privilege. and I'm willing to have that conversation. But let's talk about childhood sex trafficking. Let's talk about the pedophiles in jail. Let's talk about protecting children. Right. Everybody's like, oh, you know, check your privilege, check your this male privilege, this white privilege. It's like, OK, you know, I'm, I'm not against that conversation. But what do you there's children being trafficked and you're saying that we can't talk about children being trafficked, but you're claiming to care about people and to claim about humanity. But then it's right? even worse. Then they then they criticize you and attack you for reporting on it. They attack you. It's like, hey, I want to find out what the hell is going on with these child sex trafficking rings. And then they put that to your name like it's a black mark. Like, look at Mike Cernovich. He investigates child sex trafficking. What a loon. Well, yeah, yeah it's really, um, I, I don't want to give the devil any tips, you know, but Every time they put that in there, people are like, oh, wow, this must be a good person. You know, <laughs> they're like, oh, yeah, like, they're like, oh wow, hey, somebody geez. exposes child sex trafficking. Wow. I, nobody has ever done that before. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, I have a lawsuit against Jeffrey Epstein and to get court records and everything, which surprising credit where do will give the devil a do there. Um, I have a big lawsuit against uh, Jeffrey Epstein funded justice dot com forward slash Epstein lawsuit, E-P-S-T-E-I-N-L-A-W-S-U-I-T. That's not a plug just so that your producers can, can pull up the documents, but to their credit, the Reporters Committee for Freedom of the Press filed a brief supporting my lawsuit to get these records. So, you know, we got to, you know, because we're real journalists, unlike people in the fake news, we, you know, criticize them where we criticize them, but I filed a an open records lawsuit against um, Jeffrey Epstein and all these other people to find out, you know, about this human trafficking ring. And the Miami Herald joined it and the uh, Reporters Committee for Freedom of Press joined it. So there are, you know, five or ten real journalists in the country. They aren't many. None of them are in the White House press briefing room. Well, there's a couple in the press briefing room from the Daily Caller and OANN, but there are, you know, there are a few journalists, maybe five or ten, who actually want to, you know, figure out what's going on, and they actually want to protect the children and and find out who the predators are. So, all you know, credit's <laughs> where it's due. They they did file that brief supporting me. That you know, it is sad that that you have to recognize the fact that you're like a voice in the wilderness if you want to be a real journalist when it comes to covering child sex trafficking. It really does tell you the state of the media. However, I think that there's actually a positive aspect of this where, you know, you, you might go into a situation feeling like you're alone and then you come to find out once you take action that you're not alone and there's others that are willing to back you, but you only find that out when you actually take that action. I mean, you got to take the arrows, right? So for me, that's where, you know, my legal background and everything kind of, and plus I've been 40, I've been beat the hell up in life and everything like that. So, you know, they're always like these 25 year old kids are like, ew, he's a, I'm like, dude, you're some like 25 year old kid. You've never done anything in your life. You know, I get, I've been smashed by life. I'm in real litigation for real things. So their little barbs don't bother me, but yeah, if you are on the front lines and you are taking the arrows, remember courage is contagious as it's cowardice. And that's why, you know, we're on the front lines every day. That's why when they attack us, I even say, because people go, you haven't done a video in a week. I'm like, why? You know, because nobody's attacking me. You know, it's like when they attack me, that's when I really have to come out and, and show that moral leadership. And when they just kind of leave me alone and, and quit lying about me, I, 
you know, go hang out and go to the gym and do mindset things and, you know, other stuff. 